Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect CVS with dViewer. So, add here to download to dViewer, write in Google dViewer. After that, you go this side dViewer.io. So, if you click this side here, you can find dViewer community and here by using dViewer community. So, it's a fast, it's a free. And here it support MySQL, PostgreSQLite, SQLite, and here CBS also. So here that software that I already downloaded. Now hereafter I'm going to install. So this is the software, DVL Community Installer. The size 49.6 MB. So it will take only few second times to install so english it's fine here click next agree so here now here to so here click next at this location it's installing no need to change install so first it's extracting the file so dviewer community has the good facility by using this you can write any kind of CVS query inside to dviewer very easily and now here after I am going to show you one more thing so let's uh, find add here SAP now here after let's click interactive SQL So I have connected to SAP Adaptive Server. So here username. So at the time of uh, installation of uh, of CBS, you have set it the password and username. So this is the username. And here let's give uh, password. And here server name Lenovo PC host Lenovo PC and port 5000. Now here after click on test connection. So at here connection succeeded. Click on OK. Now here after if you want then you can connect also. So at here this is uh, connected with uh, database master and here Lenovo PC is the server username SA. Now dViewer double click on the dViewer. dViewer 6.3.1. Now here after let's maximize. Here go to database and here new database connection. So at here you can find the uh, different database. So at here IBM oh no. So let's uh, click on SQL and here I scroll down. So here you can see uh, CVS or uh, ZTDC. So here is how uh, uh, ZDBC driver now here after let's click on CVS. So if you click this one no saved connection yet and here this one no saved connection so i'm going to uh, not so selecting this one this also option and here you can see this sap asc j connector okay let's uh, try uh, this one click on next and here host so what exactly host is so here uh, the host was i think uh, lenovo minus pc and here this is the database now here after let's give uh, username that is so uh, sa and here give the password and here a uh, host Lenovo pc now here after if you give all the information correct click on test connection so at here it's a connected now here after click on finish now here after j connect it's a connected now here this is the master database here dbo this all tables so there are bunch of different tables inside there now here after if i do click on this one 
website so uh, processing now right click and here after uh, filter read data from SQL console so here there is so uh, I think uh, this is the query automatically it's uh, generated and here this is the data inside the tables so like uh, like this let's uh, uh, go to database once again new data connection and here SQL selected now here after uh, this time going to jconnect already used now here after cbase jtdc click on next so give the host name that is the uh, Lenovo PC Now master username essay and here give the password. Port no need to change. Here after click on test connection. So and here we need to download or some driver. JTDC click on download. So it's a uh, downloading. Now here after it's a uh, connected. Okay. Now here after click on finish. So there is uh, one more connection, CTDC master, here this all database, it's come there, again table, you can see, two ways we can connect uh, uh, CVS with uh, D Weaver. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you, so now in this video it's over, so thanks for watching, see next video, thank you.